In the early days, uh, we were we were a much smaller company, um, and when when I was out looking for work, I was looking for work for one or two people for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Um, over over a period of time, it's grown that. And we have to be a lot more strategic in the work that we're looking for because we're feeding you know, hundreds of people now. Uh, as a result of that, um, certainly vision uh, in the early days was about you know making sure that we were sustainable. That that particular piece of vision hasn't changed, but all of the strategies to support the vision uh, have had to change. Um, so, uh, really, uh, the fundamentals of of you know making sure that every single day. Uh, we're providing, you know, stimulating opportunities for our team. That, that has not changed one iota. Well, many things have changed, and at the same time, things are the same. Uh, one of the very consistent things is the desire and the passion, frankly, for uh, providing opportunities for for our team. Um, the the thing that's very different is the size of the team. Uh, that we're providing opportunities for. We need to be a lot more strategic today and a lot uh, further in our thinking about how we're going to uh, be able to attract uh, larger opportunities that, that require larger teams to deliver on them than in the early days when really you know, we were looking for work that would last for one or two people for one or two weeks to a month. Um, today we need work that, that supports 50 people for many months. Um, and you know, the, the the strategy that goes along with that, as well as the back uh, end of the house to be able to deliver on that is a lot bigger. Um, but at the end of it, the core of it, uh, the vision to provide opportunity to people is exactly the same today. How has the culture evolved at All North over the, over the 27 years? Uh, you know, I think many of the values have stayed uh, uh, very similar, if not identical, to what they have been uh, all throughout that time. Um, some things are very important to me, and I think certainly if you uh, if you look through our triple bottom line, uh, you'll know that the team is on the top of the uh, of the circle because really I believe that it starts within uh, with our team that who then uh, delight our clients and uh, hopefully we can do so in an efficient manner to be profitable. Um, so I think certainly the, the core of our cultures remains the same. I think the things that are, I guess, nuanced uh, over time is uh, we've gotten, certainly I would call it more professional um, in the delivery of, uh, of the business than we've had to. The, uh, the size of the team has grown, uh, the diversity of our team has grown substantively. Uh, both, of things, both of those things have made us uh, better. Um, you know, there are things that are uh, a little bit more, uh, or maybe better described, a little bit less uh, fluid uh, and a little bit more structured. Culture is a, uh, is a very difficult thing to describe. Uh, it's, it's really it's how, you, how, how you make people feel. Uh, and I think that's important to me because it's important to me how I feel. Um, has our culture changed in the 27 years to date? The answer is absolutely it has. Um, there are some things that are, uh, that are for the better and there's some things that are not for the better. It depends on the audience. I think really the, uh, the, the baseline of our culture is, is our triple bottom line and that's something that actually hasn't changed uh, all that much. It's the delivery that, uh, that has. As we've gotten to be a larger enterprise, we've had to have more structure. Um, so there's a little more hierarchy today than there certainly was in the very early days when we were uh, absolutely, you know, a flat organization. We've got we've got more structure uh, to deliver uh, that same culture that we've been trying to deliver for forever. TBL is, is foundation to our culture and uh, to the vision to the future, uh, simply from the standpoint that our business is absolutely based on, uh, on people, um, both external and internal. And so really, you know, we do need to look at, at all situations from, uh, from that very uh, distinct perspective. And I think that makes it, uh, makes it real to people 
uh, where you can talk about how you make decisions and, and why you're doing the things you're doing, uh, people understand uh, what you're talking about. It's very personal to me. Uh, this business is very personal to me uh, because it's dealing with people. Uh, and, and, you know, we've been so fortunate over the years to have so many good people, one of which was uh, a, uh, he would be our first CFO. His name is Gary Ray. Gary, Gary's a very structured individual. I am not. Uh, I'm fluid and I, uh, I, I would like to describe myself as entrepreneurial. Uh, and sometimes uh, structured and entrepreneurial are, are at opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, so Gary is very good at, at uh, discerning what I wanted as a culture and putting it into uh, triple bottom line, coupled with uh, people like Peter Drucker, who is a management uh, expert on how you uh, structure companies. And so I think it's foundational from the standpoint that I think it can stand the test of time on how we do things. And uh, I think it's important to provide consistency uh, and relatable things that people can understand why you're, why you're doing what you're doing.